Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Jen. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate having you here. Today's video is actually a recreation of a fellow creator, YouTuber. Her name is Everything Proof, which she got it from Manny MUA. So here on my other device, I have Manny MUA's playing here and I'm going to try to recreate the look he created. It's an eye look. It's called Bold and Easy Cut Crease Makeup Tutorial and he calls it a two-third cut crease. I'm not good at cut creases but Everything Proof said I really wish you would do it. I would love to see it. So here I am doing it. I'm going to give it a try and Everything Proof is she does have a channel. She is great. She does a lot of boxings but not only that she does massive research behind every single product ingredient everything and I mean amazing research so I will link her channel at the bottom and you will love her if you go check her out okay so he does use the modern renaissance palette in the tutorial but I got the ColourPop blush crush palette and I really really want to use this in the are similar tones so that is what I'm going to do now I can't promise anything because again I'm not good at cut creases but it looks kind of easy <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a try I'm really excited because it's something like I, I don't normally do these things and I'm really excited I might use a splash of other palettes if I can't get the the look to look you know Okay, so here we go. Okay, and my name is Jen. If you're new here, please consider subscribing down below. I do upload every Monday and then I will be having random videos here and there. Okay, so let's get into the trying of my two-third cup crease by Manny MUA and then by my friend Everything Proof, which will be linked again in the description box. Okay, and I'm going to be using this Blush Crush Palette by ColourPop, which I just just love the way this looks. It's like vintage and just really pretty. It reminds me of a wedding, like a vintage type wedding style. Just really, really pretty. I really, really love ColourPop. They always have like such a nice formula. So, let's see. Let's start playing Manny MUA's video here on my other device. Which he is so funny. The volume's messed up on this voice, so I'm just hoping I can hear it. Okay, he's gonna go with the shade Burnt Orange, which is similar to this one here, and I'm gonna take that across my lid using a fluffy brush. So, wish me luck, everybody, and everything proof, please. I hope I don't disappoint you. I don't want to. I really loved what you did, and I was like, oh, I need to recreate that. That's happened several times in the past week. Everyone is giving me pinky vibes where I just want to go and just try all these new different things. I'm loving pinks. Like, just. I thought I didn't like pink, and I freaking love pink the most now. Everything. I'm going against everything I ever believed in my entire life. I am changing, but for the better. I think it looks super pretty. I'm missing out on my life. That's how I'm thinking of it. Okay, so what he is doing. Oh, wait, he's way darker than me. And the same steps by chatting, of course. Okay, wait. Look, I gotta stop him. Stop, Manny. You're way a bit better than me. You're professional. I mean, I am so not professional, especially with this kind of thing. We need to really build this up, and then I need to get this darker also. So, I really hope this turns out. It's super excited me. Just really worried about that concealer going on my eye. <laughs> but I really, really wanted to do it. And when she said that, I was like, yeah, give me a reason. So I hope I don't disappoint, like I said. She's just wonderful, and she's such a sweetheart, and I've just met so many great people in here. I, I know I say that a lot, it's true. So, you know, if you're contemplating starting a YouTube channel, please do so. Try it anyway, give it a try. 
you meet new friends and it's just so much fun. It's like a release of like stress. I do it for that and I do it for fun and that's so many nice people. I am so happy the one day that I said, turn the camera on and just do it for someone who wouldn't even take a picture. Okay, that looks pretty good for that. Now let me turn back on my phone here that I have down here and see if it looks anything like this. I'll show you a picture. Okay, that's what he. Oh. No. He has like a more peachy color. So I'm doing like a pinky peach. Pinky. So we will probably lighten up with some peach. We as a tiny brush. Pause. I've never followed anyone's tutorial before. Okay. It's a little bullet um, brush by Morphe. And I'm gonna. What is he using here? Oh, a darker color. So I'm gonna go with this blush line one here. He is really good. Really good. It's like detailed. Okay, I'm pausing this because he's gonna go with that concealer already. I'm not even anywhere near that point. I hope this turns out okay, guys. Does it look any darker there? The main focus. Well, I don't know about the main focus, but it's supposed to be dark on the edges. I think so far, I didn't do bad. Kind of impressed with myself. And I might as well just drag a little here. Just a little. Since it's probably going to go down there anyway. So I don't leave the lower lash line normally alone. Wow. I still haven't gotten the concealer, so I'm not going to get too excited. <clears throat> My voice has got like a frog in the throat again. I just took my allergy medication. That just doesn't even work, so. Mm, whatever. I don't feel too bad or anything. I just, sometimes it makes you feel bad, but. Well, guys, I'm, I'm impressed even with just, I know it's not much, but. I'm just excited, I guess. I guess not so much impressed. <laughs> impressed with what? Three shades or four? I'm just excited to follow a, like, a, a super star. A super star influencer. I don't know if this is what he did, but I'm gonna do this. I know there was some, like, gold glitter on the bottom, and had out my gold glitter. It was NYX gold, glitter goals and I only see a Too Faced silver one. I may shut off the camera and dig for it because it was right freaking here. My Scott likes again like my other stuff does but I don't know why I'm going down here already. Um, kind of feel professional. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kind of feel okay. Like, this might not be a total flop. What do you guys think? So far, so good. Okay. Turn on the phone. Super excited to follow it's someone like this. Concealer. Concealer. concealer works great. Um, my favorite personally is the <gasps> He's in with the concealer. What concealer will I use? What is this one? Well, I do have that color pop no filter one that I really want to throw in the garbage because I, I, I'm probably the only one in the world that didn't care for that. I don't know if you did, but it didn't work out well on me. Okay. He's pulling his eye. Going a little bit higher. Crazy, like one stroke or like, no, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out. Okay. Or maybe just start carving out the crease and starting like. Oh, I like mine. Are you seeing my eyes are open too, but. Two thirds will be right in. So I'm gonna grab a packing brush. I'm gonna take the shade of tempura, which is a very nice. Hold on. Taking a shade already. He's also doing one eye. I'm doing two. Don't wanna mess this up. I really want this to just work out for me. I think I might have went a little too far. 
Uh, not bad, John. Go, John. And he's only doing one eye, but I'm going to do two. This is probably where I'm going to... He did pull his eye. I don't really like to do that, but... I'm going to... I'm totally... Going to... Do some more fun stuff. This is like the perfect brush, very precise. This is a um, um, an Elf eyebrow do eyebrow duo brush. So this works really nice. I mean, of course, I don't do these much, so I don't know, like, what other brushes would work nice. But this is working nice for me right now. I kind of need to like cut this up here more, like that. I really don't think I'm gonna do bad guys. I'm excited because I'm just excited. Okay, now let's see what he is packing on that lid. I don't know if it's in this palette, anything close to it. Oh, he's setting it with like a. Uh... Okay. We're gonna set it with another flat brush. Not that packing brush. Please, this one. So I'm gonna pick this green card. Oh, Rosanna, he's on it. I'm still packing. And again, he's only doing one eye on camera. Oh, face it, he's a professional. I'm not. But not bad, not bad. And I don't really say good things about myself. This is not, not bad at all. Like Julia B. Brown says, which I think you like her channel a lot. She has a lot of nice makeup. She's very sweet. Leia, McDonald. There's a ton of sweet people. I'm going to be doing some. My next few videos are going to be me mentioning all my sweet friends I've met on YouTube. And linking their channels at the bottom mm, so you can probably I mean hopefully go check them out and show them some love because I know you'll love them I really do they're so like so good so professional unlike uh, everything that this channel isn't <laughs> I'm just kidding I mean I'm fun funny or fun whatever I just am not like a professional I mean, I don't know if they're professionals. I know a few of them are makeup artists. I just really am a makeup enthusiast and love makeup, but I'm not horrible at it by any means. Oh, this is a nice detail brush. Okay, what's he doing next? This Manny. I, I love his, like, when he introduces, if you don't like me, then don't effing watch. That is so funny. I personally couldn't say it. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, because he just, okay, so it didn't, like, wasn't too much here. He is going in with, like, like this. Just, uh, like a fade, he said, like a haircut fade. Or, like, when you're drunk and you're about to pass out fade. That's what kind of fade he says it is. He's going to finish the other eye off camera. What did he do? Not much more than that. That's it. So, I just have to do my lower lash line when he gets back. I do want to fade this a little here. I went in too far. It's doing so good. Maybe some more up here. And just lighten it up a little with this. Because I did go a little too far. There we go. I was going to say perfection, but nothing is perfection. But I am proud of myself. What do you guys think of it? I like when Raw Beauty Chris is like, 
I can't do it. I just don't. Even, so funny. Even though she's beautiful, she turns herself from like zero to ten thousand in like. Oh, that girl's amazing. Okay, Manny, come on back. Okay. And we're gonna do. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go off camera and do lashes. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna finish up with Manny for the lower lash line. I'm super proud of myself, by the way, again. Okay, I'm back. I had a little twist. I had some little jewels here. And I, my lashes are Kayla in the style lavish. What do you guys think? I'm not done with the lower lash line. And I'm gonna have to use my silver glitter rather than my gold because I can't find it. So I'm gonna go in and see what he does to the rest of the lower lash line. I already have the ink there. This is way out of my comfort zone, but I really like it. It's really, really different for me, and I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay. So. I do have that, the ColourPop White Eye Blending, somewhere. I'm going to skip that stuff. I did my wing liner already. Quite a big wing he did, because I saw it earlier. It's not exactly like his, but not bad. I will say so myself. Let me know what you think in the comments. I really do like it. These little jewels, I never use ever. I have them. I have black, gold, and like a clear color, and then this side, clear color and gold. So, Ooh, I like it. So, I still got a jewel. I have to find my little silver glitter. Oh, my little. This is the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. So, we, he just takes like a little bit here. Right in the bottom. Pretty. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, until it, um, I'm getting so proud. I'm just forgetting. I'm gonna do a new lip. He does a new lip too. He's already done. He's also a professional. Everything proof. Let me know what you think, please. I did this for you. Well, I mean, I wanted to do it, but as soon as you said yes, please, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I told you I was watching all those Valentine tutorials and got me in the spirit of just stepping out of that comfort zone. I'm really digging this little silvery glitter right here. How cool. And these little gems, he didn't do that, but I thought, why not? Okay, now nude, we know we have those. We will take the Laura Lee in the shade. Makey. Makey wakey. Okay. It's a true nude. And I did add some highlighter and I added hold on, my Ofra palette highlighter I added here, here. And then on the inner corner, I put this pop a bottle there. Okay, guys, that's it for today's everything special I look out of my comfort zone. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, I'm willing to do it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so down below. And don't forget to let me know what you think. And I want you to all have to have a great day, a great night, a great morning wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you again so much. Bye-bye.